Okay, so today I'm not talking about crafting or sewing or such things. Today I am on a field trip, an unexpected field trip, but a field trip nonetheless. I am in, uh, well, the Netherlands, obviously, because that's where I usually, <laughs> where I usually am, because I live there. And I am in the province of Drenthe, and I am in the little village of Orvelte. And we, we, I say we because my husband and my son and my daughter are approximately five minutes down the road. And I played at a wedding here yesterday night and I um, I got called back a little unexpectedly just I was as I was about to start the final set of the night uh, I was singing uh, playing guitar singing and um, it was lovely by the way we sat around the campfire and sang and people joined me in singing Molly Malone and more such a Dubliner <laughs> affair and um, I got called I got called away quite unexpectedly because my son had vomited all over the bed so I was up half the night with my son um, sort of slumbering and then whenever he stirred I would make a lunge for the the bowl and shove it under his face so he could vomit um, therefore our planned excursion didn't go through and my husband said you know I'm gonna take uh, our daughter and go for the walk and he ended up here in Orvelte and Orvelte is a tiny little village where cars, well I say cars, visitor cars aren't really allowed I don't know if I'm going the right way here um, and it's uh, all in the old they, they kept it as it was as in the olden days and my husband, he came back and he said, Oh my God, you have to go there. Because basically it is everything you love rolled into one. It's little tiny antique shops and little coffee shops with homemade cake and pies and, and lots of yummy little shops with homemade stuff and I really don't know if I'm going the right way but it's just walking around here is really nice Komt vrienden in het ronde minnaars van een stil dan zal ik u verkonden hoe ik Oh my god I have to go in
nice, but look at these details. Look at the piping. It's really beautiful. The placement of the fabric. Okay, I um, noticed that there were little stickers on the hangers and I inquired if that meant that the clothing was in fact for sale. Turned out it was and I made a rather impulsive decision and bought it because I realized I couldn't really leave the shop without it. It was so pretty and Oh, it had all these little details that I I really loved and now I get to take it home and study it up close and maybe even try and recreate it. I don't know, but uh, I'm really happy. The lady behind the counter, she asked me if I collect antique clothing and boy, care. apparently I do now. Oh, just look at it. It's so beautiful. And then to think that this fabric probably didn't even look like this when it was new, but it still looks so beautiful. Oh God, I'm really hungry now. <laughs> So I am on the way back to the car now. I think I spent about all of an hour here. Uh, I wanted to stay much longer, but everything's closing down. So still haven't gotten anything to eat. <laughs> I'm really hungry. But um, yeah, I think it's real worthwhile to come back sometime and spend an actual day here because there's so much to see, stuff to do. And I wish I could stay longer, but as I mentioned, Everything's closing down, all the... Oh man, it really smells like cow dung here. Like really intense assault on the nostrils. But um, yeah, I want to come back someday, spend an actual day here. Just looking around and enjoying everything. Instead of one rushed hour just before having to drive back for three hours. <laughs> so bye bye Orvalda. But hey, I have got the best souvenir right here. So 